Medical staff at U of MC testing for COVID-19 just became a little easier. 12 News' Linnea Lewis is live with more on how that's possible. Linnea? Melanie, just a few weeks ago, UMMC was hinting at an in-house COVID-19 testing. Well, Thursday, researchers fulfilled that goal and began testing at their site. They worked long. They worked endlessly, actually, and have completed that challenge. What should have taken four months only took University of Mississippi Medical Center researchers two weeks. In-house COVID-19 tests are now rapidly available at the Academic Medical Center, helping relieve the State Department of Health. The value of these tests in-house are to help us right now uh, get our own uh, patients understood who should be quarantined, who should not. This will help preserve PPE. 180 tests will be processed daily with an approximate 24 hour turnaround time. Patients in ICU, inpatient care at UMMC, and UMMC employees will all be able to benefit from this creation, but eventually, so will all Mississippi communities. The goal is to take this testing number up uh, several hundred more. Uh, over the next roughly two weeks, if all goes well, the reagents and supplies are available to us as we know they're in short supply nationally. The next phase for UMMC researchers will be to work on a second commercial test and create their own laboratory developed test for COVID-19 following CDC protocol. We actually have students working helping us to, to um, develop the swabs and manufacture them that we're going to be using. They're in short supply also, but also our scientists are working to develop the platforms necessary to do the tests. The kits include swabs, media, collection tubes, and plastic bags that will benefit mobile collection sites. We also got an update on the drive through testing at the fairgrounds and we now know that they're testing about 120 people a day and they have adjusted their screening process. For more information on those details, make sure to visit our website at WJTV.com. Live in Jackson, Linnea Lewis, 12 News.